Hello again, everyone. It's time for another virtual story. I hope you've had a really good week. Hope everything's going well with school and all your families are safe and healthy. I send you all my best thoughts. All right, ready for a story this week. This week, we have a parable. But this is not one of the parables Jesus told us. We keep those in gold boxes. And this is just a regular wooden box. But it's to help us. Many of you ask, what exactly is a parable? This is a parable that might help you understand what a parable is. So, let's see what's in it. First, I see a mat. This is a very large mat. It is very brown. It's brown on both sides. Wow, that's really big. All right, let's see what else is in here. I don't get this. And this. See, that's a golden thread. There are actually a lot of those in here. Can you see that? That's all that's in there. Just this. So, once there was a great desert and in the middle of that desert was a deep, deep well. It was so deep, the people couldn't get water from it anymore. They couldn't even see any water, but sometimes they could feel a cool, refreshing dampness coming up from the well. But they couldn't get a refreshing drink of water from it. And people can't live in the desert without water. The desert is very hot. There are no shade trees to sit under. The wind blows and moves the sand around, which can sting you and can get you lost. Food doesn't grow in the desert. So people hurry through the desert and the dirt to get away from the danger. Now one day, a person was coming through the desert, came to this well, and stopped. The person looked all around the well, looked in the well, saw something on the ground that looked like a cup that you would drink from but there was no water to drink. Hmm. The person saw these gold threads on the ground, kicked those around. He thought they seemed out of place. Now others had seen this, thought that was all silly and hurried on, but this person 
stayed to really be there to wonder. After a while, the person began to tie the gold threads together. person was not in a hurry, was wondering the whole time. Hmm. person tied the gold threads to the handle and then the person lowered the cup D D deep into the well. And when the person pulled it back up, it had, it had refreshing water in it. And the person drank and was changed. Maybe you can drink too. When the person went on the way, this was left for the next person. As with parables, we ask these questions. What could this water really be? I wonder. And I wonder if you've ever had a drink of that kind of water. I wonder where this could really be. And if you've ever been there, I wonder what these gold strings could really be. And if you've ever come close to gold threads like that, I wonder why that person stopped and really took the time to be here and wonder. Sometimes I wonder about wondering. But here, what if when the person went on their way, everything was left the way it was found. And the next person could figure it out. Now, which of those endings you like best. 
I would love to hear your answers. Which, which of those endings do you think is more important? Where do you see yourself in this story? And which ending do you see yourself? And I wonder if there's anything we could leave out and, and still have all the parable we need. And I wonder if this parable helps you understand what a parable is. to put things away while we think about these things. Our old threads, the cup, the well, and the large brown together you can work with this or any of the stories and parables. Now I do have a little book to read. Actually it's not a whole book. I just wanted to read you a part of it. This is a book about God's promises. It's an old book. This book is so old it's falling apart but it has been loved by many children and there are lots of there are lots of promises in here that go with many of our stories, but I want to read the last one. It's called The Promise Then and Now. It was long, long ago that Jesus lived as a man in the land of Palestine. It was long, long ago that Jesus made a promise to be with the people always. Two thousand years have gone by since then. That is a long, long time. It's longer than you or your mother or your father or even your grandparents have been alive. During all those years, Jesus kept that promise. Jesus has always been with the people. Jesus has always loved the people. Jesus has always forgiven the people when they're sorry for doing wrong and he is still with us today. Jesus is with us when we wake up in the morning, when we play with our friends, when we go to Zoom school, or maybe you're in real school now. Jesus is with us when we go to sleep at night. And in a special way, Jesus is with us when we talk with God. So Jesus is with us at home, at school, everywhere. Jesus promised to be with the people a long, long time ago. Jesus promises to be with you right now. And he is. Hmm. I hope you have a lovely week. I look forward to seeing you in real life sometime soon. Meanwhile, we'll keep telling stories and getting together like this. God bless. Well, I don't know about you, but I really liked that. Not quite parable. Anyway, I have a prayer for us to close with. May the door of this home be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. May the door of this house be narrow enough to shed out pettiness and pride, 
envy and enmity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to young or strained feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness, and harshness. May this home be for all who enter, the doorway to richness and a more meaningful life. I hope you have a great week. See you back next time.